Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. More specifically, we're going to be talking about Carolyn Appleby, or if you'd like to call her Lillian Appleby. She was known by both names on the show. We're going to get into all the details of why that name change happened. She was played by the amazing Doris Singleton. Now, when I used to watch this show when I was younger, I used to have a major crush on her, and honestly, I still kind of do, so this video brings me a lot of joy being able to cover her and to cover all the great instances where she was on one of my favorite shows. In fact, my favorite show ever, I Love Lucy. And I always make videos giving you all fun facts, and this is a cool one about YouTube that really does help me out. Why do YouTubers always ask people to like and subscribe? Why? Well, it actually really does help to let YouTube know that our videos could be recommended to others. That's the really only way that a channel like mine can grow, so I really do appreciate all of you who do. Now let's get right into it, guys and gals. Doris Singleton appeared a total of 10 times on I Love Lucy from 1953 all the way to 1957. Now, she was always known as Carolyn Appleby. I was surprised when I found out she was only known as Lillian Appleby in one episode of I Love Lucy. That is her first appearance. In the episode The Club Election from 1953, she was known as Lillian Appleby throughout the entire episode. The rest of them, Lucy is Matchmaker, The Camping Trip, Lucy and Ethel Buy the Same Dress, Baby Pictures, Lucy Tells the Truth, Lucy's Club Dance, The Dancing Star, Harpo Marx, and Lucy and Superman. Those that I named right there, the other nine, she was always known as Carolyn Appleby throughout the rest of the episode. Now, why the sudden name change? Is that a blooper? I've covered that before. I'll get all into that. But before, I do want to give a quick summary of all her appearances in every single episode of I Love Lucy. Now, Lucille Ball really did like Dora Singleton in regards to I Love Lucy the show. There's some other things that happen and here's Lucy and just some past stuff, which you may check out those videos. I did talk about some of that drama, but in regards to the I Love Lucy run, they did get along well in real life and Lucy used her a lot because, well, she liked her work. Now in the episode Club Election from 1953, we have Lucy and Ethel battling out between them to see which of the girls will become the president of their club. Now, they kind of have an even split of votes, and we see Lillian Appleby, that's the character's name at this time, and she's the one who's kind of helping out Lucy, kind of seeing if they can beat Ethel and so forth, and the winning vote is, of course, coming from Ruth Knickerbocker. It's kind of a strange episode, but we do get to see glamorized Lillian Appleby in this. Now, this is continued by the episode, Lucy is a Matchmaker. It comes later on, also in 1953, and now she is for, further known as Carolyn Appleby. Now, just for, so there's no confusion, it's the same person. Essentially, the character is the same, just the first name changed. So in this one, we see that Fred has a pal, kind of a younger buddy, and Lucy is trying to fix him up with a woman and uh, because he is, of course, a lifelong bachelor at the moment. But we see the girls in the beginning playing cards, playing bridge, I believe, and that's pretty much the time that we see her. We don't see her in the episode for long, actually a couple, two, three minutes, and that's about it. Jumping to the camping trip, you can see these side by side because in this one, she's also known as Carolyn Appleby, and she's kind of doing the exact same thing. She's playing cards with the girls, and it's kind of interesting, two kind of episodes fairly close to each other, and they start to introduce her as a more recurring character who pops in here and there. Now, in this one, Lucy and Ethel buy the same dress. It's a little different in which the girls, the girls club is getting together again. She's one of the participants, and of course, she is with the other girls and so forth. She becomes, as I mentioned, kind of that recurring character. She doesn't make a long appearance in the episode, but she does solidify herself as one of the main girls in that club. Now the next episode here, Baby Pictures, I think this one's really important because it solidifies 
Carolyn Appleby, the character, is kind of Lucy's quote-unquote arch nemesis. Now, I don't want to say that in like a huge way, but I, yes, they were friends, but they're also, I would say they were more like frenemies, if that makes sense. They, they had a love-hate relationship, always competing, always trying to one-up the other, and in this story, they're trying to say, hey, my baby is cuter than your baby. That's essentially the episode. And you even see Carolyn Appleby's appearance of her husband, Charlie Appleby. Now, at the end, I will talk about his name as well. There's something very important to talk about there. Now, moving on to the next episode, Lucy Tells the Truth. This is a good one, as well known as Carolyn Appleby, but here we see the appearance of her apartment. Now, we also actually see it in baby pictures. Lucy makes a surprise appearance with little Ricky, but these episodes are back to back. In fact, they run right after each other. They were filmed uh, very close to each other. The we essentially one episode after another and we do see in the same apartment set and that's important because they didn't tear it down they just decided to use it twice um, in succession while it was built so that essentially makes that distinction now this one's one that you shouldn't miss it's called lucy's club dance it's from 1954 now the previous ones were from 53 and in this one, she plays one of the band members that Lucy's trying to put on this club dance, as I mentioned, and she makes a band. Lucy's on the saxophone, Ethel's on the piano, and we see Carolyn on the drums. None of them are great, but it makes it hilarious to see Ricky trying to just direct the orchestra. It's hilarious. Now, we don't see Carolyn Appleby, the character, for a while until we get into the Hollywood episode. So it's quite a bit of jump. We go to the next year in 1955 with The Dancing Star. This is, I think, a lot, uh, just a favorite episode of a lot of people, the one with Van Johnson. And we see Carolyn as, again, an instrumental piece of the story where she's the one who Lucy's trying to make jealous that she knows all these stars in this one, Van Johnson. Now, it's pretty much a back-to-back -back episode with the next one that I'll mention, Harpo Marx. And that's important, of course, because we see her with Harpo Marx. Now, that's a big thing for Dora Singleton to be essentially at one point the only two people on screen in the most popular show of all time, her and Harpo Marx, like the movie star, like that's amazing. Like she got a lot of recognition in this episode as well as the Dancing Star episode, but I think this was the climax of her point on the show. And then finally, the last episode where she was featured on I Love Lucy, Lucy and Superman. This is the one, of course, where the appearance of George Reeves as Superman, he was only billed as Superman, not as George Reeves. And in this one, also known as Carolyn Appleby. And again, it's very much like the previous episode I mentioned, Baby Pictures, in which they're trying to fight to see which baby is better. But in this one, they're trying to fight to see which birthday party all the kids will attend. And of course, Lucy wins out in the end. And Carolyn reluctantly decides to have her party, essentially, to have little Ricky's party is the best one. Because of course, Superman's going to show up and you do see her there. Now, before I mention this, I did want to highlight all her performances because after all, what I do on this channel is highlight the memory and performances of, of these wonderful actors. So I did want to do her diligence and talk about all of her 10 appearances. Now, this redaction comes from Doris Singleton herself on why the name changed from Lillian Appleby to Carolyn Appleby. Now, she mentions that she herself started out as Lillian Appleby. That's how the character was written in the script. They didn't think too much about it. It's a normal thing. You take your character. But Lucille Ball herself later decided that she didn't like that. She didn't like the name Lillian. So if the boss says something, things have to change. Now Lucille Ball wanted to change it. And she actually decided to use her own name. She actually said, why don't you just change it to Doris Appleby? And that's really interesting because Doris, of course, is her real name. But Doris herself vetoed it. She said, you know what, Lucy, I actually don't like that. Um, you know, nothing against you, but I don't think it will really work for the character. It doesn't just sound great. So Lucy Ball said, okay, well, you're going to be Carolyn Appleby. That Just like that, in the moment, Lucy thought about it. And your husband is going to be named Charlie. And interestingly enough, Doris Singleton's real-life husband was named Charlie. Now, Lucio Ball was always a stickler for trying to use people's real names to make things authentic, to make it a little more real, 
a little bit more heartfelt to the audience. And so everyone liked it. Of course, Dora Singleton liked it. She's like, yeah, that's my real husband's name. I really like the name Carolyn for myself. I think it's going to work. And Lucille Ball said, well, I think I can remember the name Carolyn. She knew someone when she was younger that was named Carolyn. So it worked out. That's the reason because Lucille Ball, the boss said it, it therefore happened. And that's it, guys and gals. Cool to know that the decision was made by these two women together in a room and they were just talking and boom, the character evolved and became what it is today. I love Carolyn Appleby as a character. One of my favorites uh, that recurs throughout the show. She's kind of Lucy's arch nemesis. I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think. Which was your favorite ap episode where we see Dora Singleton as Carolyn or maybe Lillian Appleby, maybe like her first appearance. Let me know guys and gals. I'd love to read the comments. We'll see you next time and don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you so much to all the supporters I have on Patreon, especially my Diamond Tier Patrons. Vito L, Tommy G, Ricky, David D, Citizen Kane, Sally N, and Grace U. If you want to find more exclusive content, visit my Patreon page. Links in the description.